Hey, how's it going guys? Ancient Rune here back with another Wonderlands video and today I am bringing out Pog Totem. This is a Bog Totem build and just because Bog and Pog are similar and it's funny, I named it Pog Totem. Um, and it's a pretty fun build. Personally, I don't like it too much uh, after a while, but I did enjoy making it. And shout out to Stone Swan, uh, who also kind of made the build at the same time, so helping exchange stuff was really nice. Uh, so yeah, shout out to him. I'll link his Twitch down below. Um, this is a Shroom Wraith build, which is Blight Collar and Spore Warden. Uh, Spore Warden does a lot for the Bog Totem because Bog Totem is ability and companion. Um, it gets boosted by companion damage, but it, when you hit an enemy, it is counted as ability. Uh, so those two bonuses are both in um, the Spore Warden skill tree, which makes that really nice. Spore Warden isn't the best skill tree, and usually it's only good for guns, but um, having this other niche is really, really nice and fun to have. Um, the save file will be down in my Discord, and yeah, if you haven't, make sure to like and subscribe. All right, and for the gear here, our first weapon is the Queen's Cry. Now use the taser. This taser will do crits, and that will stack this skill right here, Thrill the Hunt, doing a lot of companion damage up to 180%, um, which is a lot. Um, but it also has um, lightning and then uh, frost damage uh, as its elements. And so that will spawn the up bog totems as either lightning or frost depending on what mode you're on if you're on taser mode lightning if you're on the normal mode frost now we don't use the frost mode for damage we mainly stick to the tasers and that's fine because we're using um soaked this is why we want those two elements and then we use the bonus element for spirit swarm and uh bog spirit uh, because that's just extra damage and it's really nice to have 20 percent poison damage uh, and then here we use Fear Nuts. This is for applying Soaked mainly and then um, doing some damage, which is why we take play the angles. So it's just kind of nice to have. Uh, it helps clear some because Fear Nuts do good damage if, even if you don't um, focus on them. Fear Nuts or Gun with Wings do not get um, companion damage bonuses. They get the gun damage formula, and that's all. Um, but it does apply cross bolts, which won't affect uh, the bog totems, but it will just kind of help fear knots even more. Um, so it's just really nice to have. Um, if you don't care about them doing damage, then it doesn't matter what kind of cross bolt they have. Um, ideally, you want times two, because this will be more chance of applying bog down, and then just more DPS. Um, we all have the box here on here just because when we're throwing we always want that damage to be active Here we have a peg leg. This is for reload speed and the move speed We'll be moving a lot because of amnesia and then also um, The reload speed is really nice for the fear nuts uh, And then we have a body rune for survivability uh, We use spell cast all damage here. We use spell cast elemental here for some more elemental damage um and then here we have a um, we have a frenzied wrath. This is the preferred one you'll want, especially for mobbing. But if you get a fearage, um, then that's really nice as well. It means less damage, but more bog spirit uptime, um, and also means some more action skill start enchant uptime. Um, it's also recommended to use these on bossing. Uh, because you won't be getting many kills on bossing, so you won't have Frenzy Wrath active. You will want to use Lightning Damage because of our tasers, uh, which will bring our Box Spirit element to Lightning, uh, and then Blight Color Power to boost the spirits uh, and the totems. And then here we use an Arcane Bolt. Uh, this is to spam our um, enchants. And then it's also really nice for thirds if you use that. 
Uh, we go spell charge and then status effect chance is nice. You'll see how I go dark magic and um, on the peg leg and arcane bolt. This is not just coincidence. I use this for applying uh, a dark magic status effect for worst curse because it gives me ability damage. Not too impactful, but it is nice to have. Um, got to mention on here, we use all damage. That's what you'll want on here. Uh, and then we go to Selective Amnesia. You want to go the Blight, Cow Blight Power, Spore Warden Power combo. Um, it gets um, Thrill of the Hunt, and then it gets this skill here, Toxicity, which it gives Companion Damage, Crit Damage, and uh, Access Skill Cooldown Rate. So that's also really good. If you get the Spore Blight Power one, that gets um, Wrath of Nature which is really nice. I don't remember what else it rolls with, but it doesn't out DPS um, this one, even though Wrath of Nature is really nice. It was mapped out. Now it could also just kind of depend on what passives you have. It's more of a, if you find one, nice. And then it's also really nice to have a selective amnesia. Now you can also ha keep this active by shooting a feat with a Queen's Card Taser. Uh, it won't do much damage to you, so it's really nice to have. Um, so that's why we... Um, Another bonus of having Queen's Cry and Selective Amnesia. This all damage is really nice and we have a lot of move speed and you'll see yourself moving around a lot. Ideal passives is ability damage, move speed, and area damage. Um, and then here we have Insight Rings because um, Bog Spirit or Bog Totem, the different names, um, don't crit much because they're ability damage. They will get uh, this conditional damage from non-crit hits a lot and our fear and us will be critting a bunch which means we'll get this conditional damage a lot with our fear and us critting um so it's just really nice and it automatically always rolls with ability damage making it even better uh, and then you'll want action skill cooldown break if you get pistol crit that can be nice for fear not doing more damage but definitely not needed at all um just kind of streaming it more is the best thing to do and then the skill tree is kind of interesting um we go guys in the shell just to get down the tree because none of these really help and it's just nice what happens also gives another chance for bogged down um most of the time it's damage isn't that good unless it's from the fear knots um wraith mail for survivability fl flawless edge for damage amped up for damage and survivability because that moves goes into amnesia and also these two will boost false edge which gives damage as well um bog down for the soaked bonus and then we go worst curse for the ability damage now here we go to play the angles because we use guns um spirit swarm with bog totems don't do that good damage so that's why we don't go there um here we go kindred heart for the companion damage and then the companion health is nice for the mushroom so it dies less then we go access skill cooldown you could also put in eagle eye but i'd rather focus more on the uh bog totems then we go affinity for ability damage uh we go quiver of holding for the max size and ammo regen this is for the queen's card taser you could spam it a lot more when we have the skill than without it uh, so it's really nice having it uh, Medicinal Mushroom for um, Revive, really nice. Uh, Wind Rider for the move speed and fire rate for Amnesia, and then for the Strikes, the Gun with Wings, uh, getting the fire rate. Thrill of the Hunt because of companion damage. Wrath of Nature because this will always be being debuff uh, enemies because Buck Totem is the ability damage source. So when it damages the enemy, it'll get the Wrath of Nature, and then the next hit will just deal increased damage. So it's like Wrath of Nature is always active. And then we have Headhunter for that conditional damage for our guns. And then, of course, play the angles. Play the angles is pretty dumb. It doesn't even need uh, spore power, which is really nice. And then here we go quick hit damage. This is really just because of um, our strikes doing more damage. Again, our... Um, Bog totems won't do much critting, um, so that's why we have this here. Um, skill cooldown for our bog totems, and then we go the rest in max HP reward for survivability. Um, spell cooldown doesn't really help much here. Great chance neither, or neither the status effects, because we're not doing status effect damage stuff. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the build video. Um, I, I really liked making this build. Even if I don't personally enjoy it, I wanted to make a build video for people that do. And this is also really nice for like AF Tang. Uh, like the um, DLC farm, I think in DLC 3, which is the main one to do, is very nice to use this on. I'll probably make some DLC videos after I'm done making build videos, just some tips and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. And make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. Peace.